Hello and welcome to Video Blog Basics. This is Ben E, and I'm going to show you a quick little thing here on um, basically your page and uh, setting up a playlist for your YouTube. Um, there's a few reasons why you'd want to do that. First of all, is that you'll notice that when people come to your home page, is that if they scroll down, you have these uh, sections here. They're called drawers, and within the drawers, you can set things up like this is a playlist I have is setting up uh, your WordPress blog for video content. Now, this is how people will view things um, statically, um, basically as as it's been set up. And what YouTube will do is fill some of these drawers with popular uploads, recent. Uh, activities and and those sorts of things but these aren't necessarily the videos that you want people to watch especially if you're doing sort of course material and you want to step them through um, one video after the next playlists are a great way to get get around that so what we'll do is I'm gonna shrink this guy down and this is where I edit like I'm in here as um, video blog basics and you'll notice that the pencil comes up so I can edit certain things and just so you know is that when you come down to a drawer you can hit the pencil you can say the content, you know, um, you can have all the playlists, um, the videos that have been liked the most, recent posts, those sorts of things, or even a specific tag just to make things a little easier for you. I'm not going to choose anything other than a single playlist. Um, you can have a horizontal row for a layout or a vertical list. Um, well, you can see how the horizontal uh, row looks. Let's go for vertical list to see what it looks like. And then um, you choose which playlist. Now, I only have one playlist here, so we'll just put that in there. We'll click done and let's see how this looks. So now we have this playlist that comes down and this is something that can get people started and this could be sort of highlighted content and then you know you can throw in a couple of more drawers with different different content there. I'm going to change this one back from vertical list to a horizontal row and then we'll say done. Now that's this way um, people are coming in that want to just set up their WordPress blog for video content. They can they know that they can click on here and if they click on the title, what it will do is take you into all the videos, um, into a playlist that has only those videos. The next thing that I think is interesting is when they go to play one of the videos from the playlist, is that it will bring up the playlist just like this. And it allows them to step through or skip um, content that they may or may not have seen and you know, work with stuff like that. And the next really cool thing is, is that if somebody hits share, it says share this video but you'll notice here it says share with playlists starting from the current video or from the start of the playlist now this will be obviously sharing things but more so than just the one video it'll be showing the entire playlist this can come in handy when you're at your blog um, you don't necessarily want a huge long list of videos um, on one page that can be very intimidating for one of your users um, at the same time you don't want to create individual pages for each video because that can be very time consuming so what you can do is you can create a playlist and then you have one window that has a player in it and a list of uh, the videos that, that uh, are in the playlist. When you embed, it doesn't show up like this. These videos here will actually show up in a bar down at the lower third here. But uh, regardless, I can show you that a little later. The important part right here today is that we're going to create a playlist and I'm going to show you the easiest way to do that. So. I've already kind of set things up so that I'm going to shrink this down so that we have two windows side by side and you do want to do this it saves you a massive amount of time so what I've done in, in this case is, is that I've gone to my uploads in my video manager and I've got all the videos showing up along here then what I'm going to do in this case is is that I'm going to go into here I want to say go to the video manager and in here you go to playlists it will show the first playlist that I have the setting up your WordPress blog um, for video content. Um, so we're going to add a new playlist. This one we'll call Tips and Tricks. And the description, let's just say Tips and Tricks for your WordPress blog. I'd recommend that you come in here and use as much of the, the text that you can in here. The more relevant that you can become with the description and the keywords and the tags, the more uh, you'll show up in a lot of search results. It helps YouTube figure out exactly where you sort of sit in the world. And if you leave a lot of these things blank, it's not going to know that because currently the um, it comes in and they do try to transcribe your video with what they have for an algorithm. But if you have any sort of accent, it really messes up. And 
it's not the best. So this is probably the first easiest and fastest way to start working on your um, on your keyword creation and everything. So at any rate, we'll say create the playlist. And once that's done, it'll show up here. So we have tips and tricks. Um, I'll expand that a little bit more. You know, I'm trying to keep this keyword rich. So I wanted to have video blog tips and tricks for your video blog. Um, you know, another interesting thing is, is that I'll do something like this. Uh, and a colon. So what this is doing is it's saying that it's coming from video blog basics, tips and tricks for your video blog. Now what I've managed here is, is that I managed to get video in twice and blog in twice, which is the market I'm going for. So it's a very keyword rich title and, uh, you know, doubling up sometimes if you can word it properly, you add a colon, you can really start maximizing your titles. So anyways, what we want to do is we want to add a tip and trick video here. So we're going to hit add a uh, video by URL. This is pretty much your only choice right now. And this can be a pain in the butt because let's say, let's scroll down here for one of the pieces of content that we want to use. Um, say the we talk about the different types of uh, online video there there is Chris and I um, now I can sit there and come in here and copy link location and paste in here but here's the trick that I've learned is that you can just drag and drop it and it saves you a little bit of time and then you have to click add at that point we can come in here and say let's put a CTA call in and we can add that as well and let's see um, removing related videos again that one's a really handy guy here you'll notice that I have to actually click within the window once and then I can drag and drop if I try to drag immediately it's not necessarily going to work all that well so we've done that uh, we'll add this one and keep in mind that as you add these the first video is the first one I dropped in the second video is the second one that I dropped in so this helps you keep everything organized within this playlist now I'm not going to sit there and keep adding things to this playlist while you sit there and watch. That's kind of foolish. I think you've got the, the gist of the situation. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say done. Now let's also remember that if you're just sort of experimenting with playlists, you can make it unlisted and, or private and make it so that, uh, you know, you can develop it, take a look at it, play with it, make sure it's what you want, and then you can make it public. I'm going to be a little brave here and I'm just going to say done. So now I've got that, that playlist in here and Let's say, for instance, I want to feature that playlist at the very top of those drawers that you saw earlier. So what we'll do is, is that we'll come into here, we'll go to my channel, which I believe I was already there. Oh, maybe not. So, and we're going to scroll down a little bit. Now let's say that this one here, I don't want that to be popular uploads. I want that to be a single playlist. Horizontal row is fine for me. And we'll say that we want to use the setting up your WordPress for that. And we'll say that that's okay. Now we have two of these set up here. But let's say I wanted the tips and tricks or say my highlighted best watched videos. And I kind of want to force people into watching it is, is that let's make this a little different. We're going to make it a vertical list. We're going to use a single playlist. Or remember, you can tag if you have a really specific tag, say featured. And then you could use that to create this uh this content but I prefer using playlists because that way you can go in and you edit the playlist you don't have to come in and figure out what keyword you used on what video or anything like that we use tips and tricks and you'll notice all three videos are there and we're gonna say done so now we've laid out our video blog basics uh, landing page so let's bring it up in the other browser to see how uh, the general public will see it so let's just refresh this and you'll have what to watch right next, the recent activity. Um, then we come down here and you'll see that we have this list of video blogs or video blog basics, tips and tricks. And in here below, you have the setting up your WordPress blog for video content. Again, you know, one thing I could probably do here is um, put in a colon, say start here first. So people know what to do at any rate. This is how you can set things up in um, these drawers. And I believe I'm going to quickly check while I've got you guys here as a captive audience. Is let's come down here. So we've got that one, that one. And you can move these. You'll notice that, let's say I wanted this one to be to the bottom or that one to be to the bottom. So you can reorder according to there. 
and I believe you can add another drawer. There we go. At the very bottom, you can add a new section so you can have, have as many sections as you want on the way down. And hopefully this has helped you out and given you a few ideas on what you should be doing in YouTube. And part of that is, is making playlists. It helps make you a little more relevant to YouTube searches, adds more keywords and stuff to your videos, and can also really help with the layout and setting things up for your, for the people that are coming to take a look at your, um, your YouTube uh, page, as well as on your blog. And that's all I got for you right now. We'll talk with you guys in a little bit.